What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and this is an oldie but a goodie and this one's going to blow your mind. And you know I don't really like using Google Earth for stuff but this has, they've basically got a lot of lunar orbiter missions uh, put into here. And I want to show you this anomaly right here. This is next to the Zeeman crater and it's really going to blow your mind when we switch to what the, uh, to the new view of it is. See up here I've got lunar orbiter mosaic and uh, the I'm going to give you the the coordinates are down here on the screen if you can see them. But I'm going to if you go down to the thing below, I'm going to leave them down there so you can see them. And you look at this opening right here. It looks like it was totally built. And we're going to take a photocopy of this here and bring it into Photoshop. But what's going to blow your mind is wait till you see what is there now smudged out. This is what the JAXA, the 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 Japanese I think probe or it was maybe one that China. You can see up here there's some uh, dome ridges in it and stuff like that. But let's flip it back here. Totally been smudged out. It is absolutely missing, 100% missing, gone from the terrain. And if you look around it right there, you can see it should be right here, um, this big, huge opening. Um, and let's go here. Let's take a look Oop, the colorized terrain. You can see that. And it looks like it's gone from there, too. And... Uh, but look at there, the old, this was from like the 1967 era when this was taken. And I'm going to find exactly what, I will go through here and find this Zeeman crater shot for the original lunar orbiter shot so I can find it um, just to see how high the resolution is. But this, we're going to be able to deal with this. Now also look up in here, I noticed too, I'm just going to back out a little bit so you can see this. Uh, okay, so we'll, we'll, also let me do this here. Let me see what you're dealing with here. This is an eight mile opening. I think that there could be an under base, well, a six mile opening, almost exactly six miles. Let's see here. Um, sorry, guys, I haven't done this in a while. Let me hit the opening exactly. And that's about five miles. And it actually looks like when uh, you look at it here, we're going to bring it up into Photoshop real quick, and I'm not going to do too long, but I just want to show you, take a look at this area up here as I switch back into the uh, to the newer version. Now, tell me this doesn't look like it's all been cleared out as well. This whole area has been cleared from the crater. Let me see. I'm going to go one more time. Ready? From the lunar orbiter. All right. See this up here is a lot more rocky and not as defined. It almost looks like it's been cleared out in a cliff built right there. Um and in there, like I said, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit and see this here. Almost looks like a, uh, a, a some sort of arc or something there. And this is just smeared out, smudged out, typical uh, NASA style, or you know. Um, but that to me is mind blowing. Check that out. Now let's take just a quick. Uh, I didn't do this ahead of time because I want to do it with you guys here while you're on it. I've got something. I'm on Apple, so basically what we're going to do here, we're going to use a program called Grab. I thought I had it, but up already let's see where'd you go i don't have it up but we're going to bring it up real quick we're going to utilities when i do my videos i like doing everything online with you guys so you can't say that i uh can't say oh that was all photoshop that was there you know everything we're doing here is basically going to be all right now what we're going to do right on the screen for you so we can do it together all right there it is Edit, copy, then we're going to go to Photoshop, file, new. You can see that's how I make my uh, my things here. Edit, paste, image. Well, we're going to get rid of the extras. Image, and then we're going to take it to image size. It should be 72, I think, now. Yes, yeah, so we're going to bump that up to 300, which is the resolution. And it's going to put it a little bit bigger on my screen. But then we can take a little look at it here. Let's just do this, uh, auto color, auto contrast. I really want to pull the auto tone. All right, so look at the layering in it and the steps of it, which looks like it was built up to be some sort of fortress entrance. This is pretty cool. So this is one of those smoking guns where you can see they hit it. Um, and they didn't do a good job because when they smudged this out of the one, when the Japanese smudged it out of over here, they didn't, uh, it's either Japanese or Chinese. The JAXA, I, I should know that. I think the JAXA Selene was from the Japanese. Um, 
it's one thing I should know on the top of my head, but I really don't at this time. And you can even see it's connected in many ways here to the crater walls. And I love to know, you know, what was here and what was getting cleared out. And then let's take one more time. Let's take a look at that right here. See, it's just totally gone. And it is the same area of the crater. Let me back it out so you guys can see it. It's a fairly big crater. It's on the side of the Zeman. On Zeman. See Zeman here. And then there it is. So this one's a cool one, guys. Let's go back here real quick. See, show you a little up... Just as big as it gets. Look at the opening there. What lives in there? <laughs> What's up in the sky, 37, guys? This is one I want you to comment on. Let me know. I'll put the links under. And if you guys want me to, I could uh, always make this picture right here and put it as a link on my website. So maybe I'll do that as well for you. I won't make it as big. I'll just put the link as well so you can have a copy of it. All right, guys. Much love. Listen, I didn't find this. This is one that's been out there forever. Um, I just found it on a website somewhere. And you know what? I'll leave, I'll leave that link too as well. So much love to them for helping me out. Much love to you guys for watching my videos. I was just saying today how blessed I am for uh, 2000 and how lucky, blessed, however you want to put it, for 2014 coming around. I really do think it's going to be our year, guys. Much love. Take it easy. It's What's Up in the Sky 37. Go check out the website, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Hit like. Hit share. Please help me out. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling.